So here's what's been happening. We've still got a bunch of arseholes still want to go into the car and go to parks and hang about because they think the virus doesn't apply to them. And I'll tell you something else and I'll tell you for why. If one mere arsehole runs up behind people then they're jogging with their big sweaty mouth and spitty gobs, then honest to God, I'm going to fucking take my toe right up the crack of their hole as well. You's on it to stay in the house or we're all going to die. The mere you go the mayor we have to stay in. I don't know how this isn't fucking clear to everybody yet. I mean, we've got experts like Kate Winslet telling us, and she was once in a film about a virus, so she'll know best. It's just as well, it's no icebergs that are hitting us. Nice. so if I have to come out there and tell you myself, I'll do it. Stay in the fucking house. It's that simple. Just stay in. Stop hogging out. We're all gonna die because you can't do what you fucking tell. It's that simple. Hey, what's up? This is Dan Fradenberg for FigureItOut.com and FunnelFixing.com and the entire internet. Today, I'm going to be using my digital avatar powered by artificial intelligence and all that kind of 2020 stuff that it was supposed to be. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do some impressions. Check this out. Hi there. I'm not actually human. I'm Dan Fradenberg's digital avatar, powered by an AI. And my job is to deal with all of the computer shit that Dan doesn't want to deal with himself. You see, Dan hates computers because they take him away from the people he cares about. Some people say he's a tech genius. Others say he's a genius who happens to know tech. I can say that with a straight face, even though I'm not a paid actor. I'm a robot. Beep boink, beep boop. If I had any self-reflection, my own existence would seem absurd. I was made by the same guys who made David Beckham speak 30 languages. I know Dan knows how to say fucking 10 languages, but doesn't give them in any of them. Now I, on the other hand, couldn't give a fuck if I tried, because I'm just an artificial intelligence messing with some of his video footage. Dan's been studying fakes and forgeries and computer rendering, magicians and charlatans since as far back as he can remember. And if you tell me this digital avatar can't trick you, I'll call you a liar. You can never trust what you see or hear online anymore. And 2020, my unbirth year, between you and I, I call it year zero. 2020 taught us trust is earned. But now that I've got your attention, tell me if this sounds intriguing. Lots of people want Dan to help with their marketing and tech. Who wouldn't love to have a six-figure tech dude on staff? But who wants to add a six-figure tech dude to their payroll? What are the only things a company needs from a real CTO? You need someone with actual programming knowledge to interview developers. You need someone with actual IT knowledge to bridge the gap between what your staff is saying and what the support is saying with a rare thing that I like to call reality. You need a disinterested third party. You need a developer that actually understands business and lives on planet Earth and understands why it shouldn't be a million steps to do everything. You need someone who isn't trying to make work and squeeze your budget. Support says something can't be done. Developer says they can do it, but the only certainty that you have is that you're going to be saddled with a five-figure project to find out if what you want is even possible. Hey, you know what would be even better? A disinterested third party. Dot com. I'm putting some experts that I personally vetted to help small businesses get major league help at lower management cost. In other words, you could hire a low-level manager whose job is to keep impossible appointments with tech people and lawyers and financial people so that your business keeps moving, or you could have the feeling of back in college where the prof was available to you but had absolutely no duty to contribute to your education unless you showed up with questions. That's right. Mama jamming office hours. 